Hello, welcome to evening prayer on this Tuesday of the 11th week of Ordinary Time. Um, our gospel today, uh, outside of the uh, passage from John's gospel in the sixth chapter where Jesus told them that uh, they needed to eat his flesh and drink his blood, and a lot of people walked away because that was a very difficult teaching and they just couldn't grasp it. The teaching we hear today from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew's Gospel, might even be uh, more challenging for us sometimes. I would hope that the concept of the true presence of the body and blood, soul and divinity of Christ in the Eucharist uh, is not that difficult of a teaching of a truth uh, for us today, uh, I would really hope and pray that all of you understand the beauty and the fullness of that gift, that presence of God in the Eucharist. But today's teaching from the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, you heard it says that you should love your neighbor but hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemy. Now, that has to be probably the most difficult thing for all of us to, to really, truly do, is love those who hate us, love those who do evil things to, towards us, love those who are not nice. Uh, it's uh, not an easy uh, teaching, but it's required. It is required of us. Now, let's understand what love is, okay? There's something called infatuation. Infatuation is that warm, fuzzy feeling we get on our first date when we meet the love of our life, when we are with the people that we hold dear, our, our, our closest family and friends and all of our circle of, of, uh, of people we like to hang around with, that, that's uh, lovely and wonderful. And don't quit on that because that's just a beautiful, beautiful part of life. But it's not the true meaning of love. Uh, infatuation sort of leads into maybe some deeper uh, sense of love for someone. But the definition of love here for our purposes and for, you know, this is scriptural uh, from, you know, the, the agape love that Jesus teaches us is that it's a sacrificial love and it's willing, willing the good of someone else, willing the best for someone wanting from your heart someone else to to do well to have uh, the best now what is wishing them well and wishing them the best of course the big picture is that we wish that they all become saints and dwell within God's kingdom in heaven for all eternity we need to wish that on everyone. We need to pray for everyone, especially those who are in dire need of our prayers. Not to be judgmental, but we know right from wrong. We know what's evil and what's good, and when we see evil, we pray that the person who is perpetuating this evil comes to a conversion, comes to an awakening where they see the face of God and understand the evil that they're doing, come to repentance, come to acknowledgement, and beg forgiveness. Not from us, but from God. So, loving your enemies doesn't mean that you have to be best buds with them and hang out and and go have a beer and 
and think everything is fine and dandy in the world and all that. No, that again is not what love is. Love is willing the good of the other. So, you know, there's an expression that when, we, when we see somebody do some horrific uh, act, uh, we like to say, oh, there's a special place in hell for people like those. Yeah, that is the wrong way to think, my friends. We cannot be uh, contrary to God's love and expect him to love us fully. How can we truly be Christ to someone else in our lives, to the people we do have close to us and near to us, if we're harboring bad intentions in our heart towards anyone? It's a hard, hard, hard teaching. But all things are possible with God. And with enough prayer, with enough uh, reception of his presence in the Eucharist, with enough patience and endurance and fortitude, leaning on that great Holy Spirit and all of his gifts, Hopefully we can come to a point in our lives when we can truly rid ourselves of all hatred, of all ill will, and truly love all of God's creation and all of his creatures. Let us pray our evening prayer together today, begging for the strength, courage, everything it takes to get rid of the hatred that we might be carrying in our heart and convert our hearts from stony hearts to hearts made for love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord surrounds his people with his peace. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. But the crooked and those who do evil, drive them away. Don't stop loving them, but chastise them, please. On Israel, peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surround your people, Lord, within the safety of your church, which you preserve on its rock, on its rock foundation. Do not let us stretch out our hands to evil deeds, nor be destroyed by the insidious snares of the enemy, but bring us to share the lot of the saints in light. The Lord surrounds his people with his peace. <clears throat> Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. O oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone far after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. As a child has rest in its mother's arms, even so my soul. O oh Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, gentle and humble of heart, you declared that whoever receives a little child in your name receives you, and you promised your kingdom to those who are like children. Never let pride reign in our hearts, but may the Father's compassion reward and embrace all who willingly bear your gentle yoke. Unless you acquire the heart of a child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God every men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. Your love must be sincere. It's a reading from the letter to the Romans. Your love must be sincere. Detest what is evil. Cling to what is good. Love one another with the affection of brothers. Anticipate each other in showing respect. Do not grow slack, but be fervent in spirit. He whom you serve is the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient under trial, persevere in prayer. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. Your faithfulness will never fail. Your promise stands unshaken. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Through all eternity, O Lord, your promise stands unshaken. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. God establishes his people in hope. Let us cry out to him with joy. You are the hope of your people, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because in Christ you have given us all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. <clears throat> you are the hope of your people, Lord. O oh God, in your hands are the hearts of the powerful. Bestow your wisdom upon government leaders. May they draw from the fountain of your counsel and please you in thought and deed. You are the hope of your people, Lord. The talents of artists reflect your splendor. May their work give the world hope and joy. You are the hope of your people, Lord. You do not allow us to be tested beyond our ability. Strengthen the weak and raise up the fallen. You are the hope of your people, Lord. Through your Son, you promise to raise men up on the last day. Do not forget those who have died. You are the hope of your people, Lord. Now let us offer together the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, 
May our evening prayer rise up to you and your blessing come down upon us. May your help and salvation be ours now and through all eternity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night. Rest well. And we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, keep my wife in your prayers for traveling safety. She flies back to Michigan tomorrow for a visit. And uh, so uh, please pray for her safety. I'll be going up there in a couple of weeks to uh, join her and hang out a bit and then drive back together. So again, uh, thanks in advance for your prayers. See you tomorrow. <laughs>